recording with MIDI keyboard. So we're going to talk a little bit about the MIDI keyboard right now. First of all, let's just review our MIDI settings. And I have this keyboard installed. It's the USB Axiom 61. And right here is where it says it is active. If we want to turn it off, we can click right here or turn it back on. And so that's a great place to know about. Once you have that, this selector light means a lot. This is what's going to accept the MIDI live input. So if I click here, kick, but if I want to go down to the boo bass, now I've got the control over with the MIDI keyboard. So we should talk just for a minute about the different settings we have with the pattern and the song and this changes the mode of our particular project. Pattern is going to deal with loops of whatever length we have here and we can actually change through those a little bit but for the most part we're going to work in song mode. So let's switch to song mode and when we get to song mode we're going to do a lot here in the playlist because watch this when I push play it's going to go through here at the same tempo and the same length of that clip but we don't hear anything because nothing's been entered in. If I go back to pattern mode, it's actually going to play the selected pattern right here. Nothing in the upper patterns, just in pattern one. But we're going to do things in song mode because that makes a little more sense when you're playing things in on a keyboard. However, you don't have to. For instance, we can stay in pattern mode and I could light this light here and I can push record it's going to say what do you want to record today and we can do audio which we're not going to do right now so I'm going to do automation and score and push play push it one time and now you see that that gets entered in as these notes right here let's turn off record mode now Okay, so now that's as easy as it is to enter in notes into the piano roll. Let's undo that though because what I want to do is actually come through here. Let's undo, add note, record stuff, perfect. Okay, so we have this pattern of drums. We want to add this bass part. We want to record it in. And so what we have to do when we go into song mode, which we've talked about now, is we need to come into the playlist and one of the things we can do is select a different pattern. So all the percussion so far is in pattern 1 and we want to put the bass part in pattern 2. So we select pattern 2 you'll see that all the notes disappear from our step sequencer and what we're going to do is actually now that we have pattern 2 selected put it record arm mode say automation score we don't need to record audio at this time and let's push record and once we do that we're just going to play the bass part in after the count it. you can see now it's in there exactly how I played it through the length of whatever we already had in this particular session. Let's play it now. We could definitely tighten it up a little bit but for now that demonstrates exactly how to play the keyboard in. So we have to do the second pattern for the second instrument we want push record and play. The other thing we have to do is have the keyboard set up correctly in the options and then have the instrument we want to play highlighted here otherwise we'd be playing one of the other ones. So we have to make sure this one is selected. Now we can come in here and edit these notes looking at this view in the piano roll because that's exactly where it recorded it. It just recorded it into pattern two of our playlist. So that's a little complicated, but I think if you do this and go exactly how I showed you, you'll get the hang of it, and then you'll be able to experiment using other patterns for other instruments, etc. And we'll get into some more complicated setups in the other projects we're going to be doing here. 
Okay, let's move on.